With the 15.2 release, we are glad to introduce the clustering feature that allows you to aggregate map items and perform density analysis. Out of the box, the map control supports two clustering methods. One is the marker that uses the central cluster as a cluster indicator. And the second is distance-based that calculates the cluster indicator as the mean value of all items. Clusterers support creating custom cluster indicators. Here you can see that the map custom elements are used as cluster indicators. The predefined clusterers allow you to group map items by a specified parameter before clustering. Note that the items have different aggregation for different zoom levels. Let's add clustering to an application with the map control. Vector data comes from the XML file. And now let's build the solution. As you can see, our map control displays a lot of map items, so let's aggregate them with the use of clustering. Open the Layers Collection Editor, select the Vector Items layer and expand its Data Adapter properties. Assign the Marker Clusterer to the Clusterer property. Specify the clusterer's group provider. Let's use attribute group provider. I'll set the attribute name property to location name. Close the editor and run the application. Now you'll see that our items are grouped by an attribute value and aggregated by the distance between items. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.